We are today at the Old Salzburg Cemetery in Salzburg, Pennsylvania. I'm with Chuck Colton here today. Chuck's been doing tons of work in this cemetery behind us to restore it. It was at some point, at one point, it was completely grown over and a lot of people didn't even realize it was here. but Chuck took on the project and uh, he's gonna tell us about it today. So introduce yourself for us. All right, yeah, like you said, I'm Chuck Colton. Uh, I've been involved in this cemetery since 2015. Uh, when I found out about this uh, cemetery, I walked in here, I walked through a gate and I walked up into the woods and uh, lo and behold, there were some gravestones up here. And uh, uh, right now you'll see quite a few stones, but in 2015, there were only about a half a dozen or so uh, visible because uh, everything was grown up in here and uh, that later that year we did a cleanup crew we had 30 uh, volunteers come uh, the township had a few trucks come and uh, we had cut probably a thousand small trees down and piled them all up and, and, and in three hours time all the volunteers got all those trees cleaned up and, and moved out of here and nice. you could actually see what was actually up here and uh, and then the following year uh, the, the steps were installed, granite steps. And uh, all, all volunteers as well. Uh, but I, I've been involved in every, every aspect of the work being done here. Um, so over the years, we've re reset I don't know the exact number offhand, but it, I'm going to say between 30 and 40 stones have been reset. And there, there's still a number of stones that still need to be reset. Some of them are kind of large, uh, bigger than I can handle myself, uh, which I have a guy, uh, Robert Myers from Gravekeepers. He, he'll, he'll come in here and reset the larger ones. He's got a tripod set up for that. But. If I can do it myself, uh, I, I do that. So there's still a lot of stones that need reset, but uh, I, I'm, I'm taking it slow because discoveries are still being made as, you, know, you, you gotta watch where you're digging in that. And uh, later on in this video, we'll, uh, Jack McGuire, a volunteer, he's gonna uncover, unearth a stone that hasn't been seen for a number of years. So I'm pretty confident in that. Right on. So, all right. Okay, well, let's go check it out. Welcome to Old Salzburg Cemetery. This graveyard is Salzburg's oldest existing burial ground and predates the Edgewood Cemetery by 48 years. Holds many of the early people of Salzburg of the Canal era. So uh, in 2015, there was no entrance to the cemetery and you just walked up a grand entrance to an old cemetery. <laughs> it's been here a long time and, and it's what it, the cemetery needed. And uh, so we got steps, we got a handrail, and we have a place you can walk up and we have three veterans here right at the top of the entrance. Uh, they weren't originally actually there back in 2015. They were moved from the the furthest end of the cemetery that were it was totally uh, not really accessible because back in the 50s the road was widened so all the earth in front of these three stones was removed and it was almost a cliff straight down from where they were at at that time so uh, with some help from volunteers uh, we had they were all cemented together and I found a news article I believe it was 1937 uh, they were cemented together and uh, their graves were unknown, the location. So mm -hmm. after reading that, I, I didn't have a problem moving them to a location where they could be seen because at the time they were put at the other location, that was a good place back at that time. So they were once 
Hey, we're on that yeah, hill? Yeah, far, Way uh, up just there. beyond uh, the, the building that's just to the left there okay. uh, and a, on a very steep grade. So uh, yeah, we, we moved them here. They were pretty heavy, but we carted them down here on wheels and uh, Brave Keepers of Amer uh, Pennsylvania reset them, uh, Rob Myers. They look great where they yep. are. Yep. And, uh, you know, since then, I, I've done some research. There's a website called Find a Grave uh, that lists all the people buried here. And uh, Aaron Wyatt, the one clear to the right, he was in the Civil War. And uh, <coughs> there's a post right here in front setting that has a, his photo, which is kind of cool because uh, ah. I did not know that even existed until That's I got in touch with uh, Aaron Wyatt's great-granddaughter. Aaron Wyatt right there. Yes. And, you know, people come and they, they'll put a rock on top just to, you know, let people know that somebody came to, that was here, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but so, yeah, you, you can come here and there's a little bit to read about each, uh, each veteran. Yeah. Uh, Aaron White, he was, uh, he fought at Gettysburg and he, he was <clears> injured <throat> in the battle. And I believe yes. you, uh, you said you knew a little I, bit. Yeah, I dug up a little bit on Aaron Wyatt. Um, this man right here says, later he was promoted to first sergeant. Aaron died November 8, 1863 in Warrington, Virginia. Uh, Warren died of typhoid, I believe. And Warrington, Virginia is actually right up the street from my house. Um, I live in the Manassas area and I have a doctor and a dentist both in Warrington. So that's how close it is. Um, so, but then he was brought up here to Pennsylvania to be buried in, I assume, his hometown, home area. Uh, but I don't know the other guys, John, John Milleron, and Mill, Milliron and Carson. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't really find anything on John Milliron, but Prime Carson, uh, there, there were some articles that mentioned him in some history. Uh, not that I can mention that at the moment, but, uh, yeah, there, there's some, uh, this, this was a Presbyterian, uh, graveyard because mm -hmm. it was tied to the Presbyterian church was just below where we're at right now. Uh, this graveyard here has a deed of 1839. Uh, it was deeded to Alexander White, and he gifted it to the Salzburg community to be used as a burial ground. And uh, But it was originally a larger cemetery. This is uh, only half of it exists now. The Presbyterian Church, which, like I said, was just below, and they had several lots. Uh, there were people buried there as well. And uh, in 1832, I believe it was, only days after the, the church was completed, it uh, caught fire uh, on April 11th, 1832. And it was on a windy day. And back at that time, they would build wooden structures around graves to keep animals from stepping on the graves and sure. stuff like that. And in the article, it said a lot of the structures had burned. So there, there were a lot of burials around the church. But the only thing that, that remains is uh, what we see here today. And uh, it's about a one acre lot. Uh, the, the, the lower portion of the cemetery was sold off. The Presbyterian sold those lots off years ago. Mm. Um, well, who, I, who in here is of note? Uh, well, the, the veterans are, you know, knowing about, you know, Aaron Wyatt was pretty neat, but far up on the hill over there, there's an outcropping of stone. And I believe his name's uh, David Allison, him and his wife are both buried side by side, uh, right below the outcropping of stone. And he, he had requested to be buried there and he just, Specifically. It, it was, it was honored. That's where he was buried. I guess that was all rock up there digging, but they, they buried him <laughs> and his wife there together. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not averse to taking a walk up there. It is mighty steep folks. And by the way, let me make mention of this. Today is Veterans Day, and here we are at the Veterans Graves. This is pretty cool. We got the flags up, the Gar, the Gar Stars uh, with them. So, honor our veterans. Uh, there is one another note of uh -huh. interest. Uh, John uh, Marshall, he uh, he was a canal boat uh, operator. He back when the canal was in operation, and uh, him and his wife also had a hotel here in town. Uh, they're both buried here. His stone's missing at this time. His wife and several children, their stones are right over here. Okay. And uh, if you look right over there, there's like a tomb box. Uh, that the yeah. top's not 
sealed on there yet, uh, but we, we at least got it positioned on the top because it was pushed off to the side. Uh, I think his name's Andrew McKee, and I believe he was an elder for the church. So he was a notable person. Okay. Uh, a lot of the names, believe it or not, the, the original church records still exist and they're all handwritten. Mm -hmm. So I was able to read through those and actually read with the dates of people dying and it matched up with a lot of the gravestones. Excellent. But there are a lot of stones below the surface here just waiting to be uncovered. Uh, and some may never be uncovered. I don't know. We just can't, you just, you just can't start digging the whole place up. Right. But maybe someday in the future we can get uh, ground penetrating radar in here and we can find find some more stones in the graves where things are located and that. So, but we, yeah. we, we can walk around a little bit more here in a minute and, uh, and then we're going to see if we can find a missing stone. All right. Lead the way. So that's where we came up from, coming up here to go see Dr. David Allison, who specifically picked this ledge out to be buried on in 1852. So uh, Nate, David Allison and his wife, I'll uncover her stone here. I'm thinking it's Matilda, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, okay. It's, we'll have to flip it over here. Ah, oh, it's upside down. It, yeah, it's... Can you do that? Yes, you can. Oh, look at that. Uh. What was her name? Matilda. Hilda? Matilda. Okay. Her name's Matilda. The wife of David. David Allison. Right. Uh, he, he was the doctor here in uh, Salzburg. Up Died. until 1852 when he passed. Died August 22, 1850 something. Wait I'd have to minute. look at my records. That, that number's kind of... Uh, he died, away, so he died August 2, 1852. Yeah, so Did they, they were die close. on the same day? No, I mean, this kind of looks like a nine, but I'm not 100% sure. Is, yeah, that, sometimes, August, sometimes is that August this, 22, maybe? Sometimes you, the sun will kind of... Yeah, that's yeah, it's, 22, it's, August 22, 20, 1850 something. Yep, that's correct. Okay. I can look on my records and yeah. make sure, but... Uh, what like I said, he, he wanted to be buried next to this outcropping of rock, and uh, <laughs> he got his wishes. So he specifically picked this spot. Yes, he did. The bottom of this rock outcropping here. What a spot. So uh, Matilda Stone will be reset eventually, and uh, so they'll both be upright. That'll be so great. Hopefully in the next year or two we'll have those. That'll be fixed. All right. Okay. Okay. So we're uh, we're right above the entrance here, above the where the veterans are buried, and uh, right here is a base stone you can see that's kind of rolled over. So we have missing stones here below the surface. So Jack volunteered. He's standing here beside me. He's gonna clean this area here off and see if he can locate a stone. Okay. Yep, I think you hit it, Jack. Dang. That, oh, that's pretty... Oh, well, oh that's a nice big. big one. That is a big stone. Holy cow. Let's maybe have to uncover. Wow. So, uh, whether or not the name on this stone is on my list or not, I don't know. I'm going to find out. Like I see some words. Yep. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll stand it up and see if we can uh, get it in the sunlight, and then we'll be able to read what it says. 
Have to be careful we don't break it though, Jack. Yeah, you okay. might get that corner down there. Yeah, let me see that shovel once. I'll uncover this over here. This uh, cemetery was totally full to capacity before Edgewood was, was built. All right, let me see if I can roll it onto its side. There we go, Jack. Look at that. Now this stone. All right, let me tilt it around here. If you want to come around, Jason. Yep. We'll get the sun. I have a little, uh, you want to hold that, Jack? I'm going to clean this off. There's a lot of, lot of inscription on that. Got any water with you at all? I have, I have water in the car. Okay. okay, let me uh, maneuver this around to get the sun to cast across. Oh, Anna. I see Anna's starting to jump. Oh, yes. Look at okay, that. Anna, wife Hen of Henry Blank. Henry Blank. I'll be darned. May 25th, died 1807. Died May 25th, 1867. Uh, 67, okay, not 67. 07. Okay, that's a six. All right. Age 34 years, seven months, and one day. That's a one. Look at that. So here we... Anna Blank. Yep, that's... And then the maker's marks down here made the stone. Nice. So I'll have to look on my list and see if that, see if she shows. If she's up. on the list. I, I'm, I'm thinking she might be. I'll just look on my phone here real quick. Looks like that that soft, but... Are you yeah, guys we'll have to measure a stone come out that has been underground for who knows how many years? Uh, it was it was pretty deep on that one edge. Catherine Blank, oh, Anna Blank, May 1867, here she is. There's no photo of the gravestone. And there, Henry Blank, he is buried up at Edgewood. So he was so, yeah, moved. Th this cemetery and Edgewood are tied together pretty good. Right. Yeah, a lot of the family's buried here and part of the family's buried up at Edgewood. So yeah, this, this stone will have to get reset. It looks like it's a perfect fit for that that stone there. That was a pretty cool find there. Yes. Yes, yeah, awesome. So, tree there or... uh, we'll probably just lay it back down here for now, right where we found it. Andrew McKee died. June 1816. Yep. Oh. 1816. Wow. That was, uh, he's an early one. I didn't realize it was that early, actually. Yeah. This stone what, had moss all over it before, and it's really cleaned up. What did you use to clean it? Um, the guy that resets the stones, I believe he sprayed D2 on it. D2. Okay. Yeah. I'm familiar with that. That's a spray. Yep. And then, uh, I use wet and forget. It kind of does the same thing. Okay. Uh, it's, it can be locally bought at Walmart or a hardware store, uh, and it's more inexpensive. It, to me, it works just as good, especially on these these uh, marble markers. Yeah. Kills the moss. Do you have good. any idea what the small print says there at all? Uh, Is there in your I record? I don't. Anything? I don't. It looks like a verse from the Bible. Probably. Because you can see that. I see Kings, the, Second Kings. Kings. Yep. Two kings, something. So you get a few words off of that. Okay. Probably figure it out. That's called an epitaph. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, some of the stones are worn. You can see these face up here. They're weathered pretty good. Oh, yeah. And they're really unreadable. But, you know, since they are laying flat, you can maneuver them. You know, and let the sun do the, you know, reveal what they say. And I'm going to just stand this one up temporarily that here. that jumps out. And, uh, oh, the camera's pulling something out that I can't see with my eyes. Hold on. I see what looks like William Ritchie. Yeah, yeah. the digital camera can really do Is that what it says, wonders. William Ritchie? I believe so. And then... That's Ritchie. That, what does that look like at the bottom? Hang on. I see a 19 at the end, but I can't read it. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. This one's weathered pretty good now. Yeah. I have uh, re re-engraved a few of these stone. I can show you one that I had done already. You got to be careful with these; are kind of brittle. Yeah. If you look at right up here, or you got Emily, Emily Jane. I resurfaced this and re-engraved it, and you can see how easily red it's been repaired too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like I said, once again, you get it tilting just right. Let me get out of the sun here. See how easily red oh, it is. Absolutely. Uh, this this was not red at all, and these here are really light uh -huh. so I re you can see I resurfaced it and then I rechiseled all this by hand this uh -huh. is the daughter of uh, Mary and John Marshall I have several children here here's these are footstones here's another daughter I re-engraved this one as well Matilda it's Matilda oh, yeah. it's easily read too 1846 uh, this is mother here Mary Marshall Maiden name was Smiley. So I need to redo this one as well. So I'll resurface this mm. and re-engrave that. It takes quite a bit of time. That might take me four or six hours to do that. And well, you only this, get one shot at yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> this one here, I, I didn't do anything with this one, but it's it's uh well, it's very you can see readable. it's very readable, yeah. Samuel A, son of T and A McGray McCray. Died 1841, maybe? Is that 1811 or 1841? I think that's a 41. Although, I don't know. That yeah, could, I don't know. That could be an 11. Yeah, because it See, looks that, like this here. There's a funny that's an little, early one. There's a funny little line right here that makes me think maybe that might be a 4. That was a 4, maybe. Yeah, I think you're right. That's probably a 4. Because a lot of times they don't engrave that quite as deep. Even the eight's real deep in the middle, but around here is really yeah. shallow. So I think you're right. But we can look on find a grave and you know, confirm that. So uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Wow. So yeah. Um, we do have a Facebook page here you can check out. It's uh, Old Salzburg Cemetery on Facebook. And you can also uh, email us at oldsalzburgcemetery at gmail.com. Uh, we do take donations that uh, pay to reset these stones. Uh, the cemetery is still abandoned. Nobody does own it. Uh, I'm only in charge of restoration. So that's what the money's used for. Uh, so if you like what you see, make, it, make us a donation. All Thank right. you. Well, Chuck, thanks very much for the tour. Really, really appreciate your time. You got really good work going on here. Folks, do. If, uh, if, if what Chuck is doing here appeals to you, please do donate to this cause. Check out their Facebook page. I will link everything in the description of the video down below. Uh, please do stop by their, their uh, Facebook page. Give it a like and uh, appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Again, Chuck, thank you very much for the tour. And Jack, thank you as well for digging up that stone and uh we're gonna get that reset one of these days soon all right all right thank you bye everyone